Hi, I'm ready to trim this vase, this bottle. Uh, I made it on Sunday, and today is Thursday, so it takes about four days. I've been drying this piece slowly, and um, in the meantime, you know, sometimes I cover it up, and sometimes uh, I put it on the hand wheel and switch sides. So. It's driving, uh, it's drying evenly, and also I put it upside down on the chuck so the moisture come out from the bottom. So the whole piece is drying uh, evenly at this stage. And uh, the other day I showed you how to make a chuck to go for it to let it sit upside down so that I can trim the bottom and. Uh, here is the chuck. The chuck is uh, at about later half stage. And uh, I'm going to show you how I let this piece sit on my chuck and try to trim it. Um, this chuck, uh, I, I told you that when I'm making the chuck, I make a multi purpose chuck so uh, different sizes can sit on different uh, uh, diameter of this chuck. Um, for this one, it's a little bit too wide on this side, so you see that my lip is coming out from the top, so it's a little too wide. So instead of using this side, I'm going to use the, my smaller side, the bottom side. Um, if I'm using this one, I don't see my uh, a mouse coming out from here, so this is a, uh, it's a good fit. So let's just start it. First, I will center my chuck. you usually I keep my chuck at later half stage uh, and I keep it that way forever so uh, after I finish I sometimes spray a little bit of water and wrap it in a plastic bag and uh, because I already told you the reason I like to use the leather hot chuck and also this is the one of the reason if the cylinder the, the size is not fitting you can always trim your chuck to fit. Okay, you trim it. You trim your chuck because this chuck is at the last stage. Okay, that's why I told you I prefer using a leather hard chuck instead of a base fire or high fire chuck. All right, so let's get it upside down. Try to center the whole piece. Okay, it's about right. So now I can use a clay ball to secure both the chuck and the pot. Ready? Let me adjust my angle so that you can focus more on the part.
Pranesh a little bit. So now I'm going to uh, do the chattering for this portion. Clay is sticking very well on my chuck.
all done with the uh, trimming on my chuck. Um, this is the uh, finished piece. So this is the finished piece. Show you the uh, texture of my chattering. Watching.